Hello YouTube, it's a Sunday afternoon here and uh, we are going to be working on a little project that uh, I've been meaning to get to and just haven't. We're going to uh, be slightly upgrading from what I've normally used for uh, switching on and off, uh, you know, transformers and stuff like that. Um, I went out and I spent uh, a little bit of money and got a few things to uh, make it a little bit better. Um, to start with, are going to be the breakers. Um, I went out and I found some 30 amp breakers that I can use that will fit in the box. Uh, right now only in my uh, breaker panel. The largest I have is a 20 so now I can draw a little bit more from uh, from the box and then uh, I got another 30 amp but now that I'm thinking about it they didn't have any 25s at the time um, eventually I would like to get uh, maybe a 20 or a 25 as well um, next would be I bought a small you know dual breaker uh, electrical box uh, we will put one of the 30 amp breakers in here and then the other in the wall uh, I got a 20 amp outlet but uh, it should be fine for, you know, brief periods of 30 amps. Uh, you know, cover for it. Small box. Um, originally, I was thinking about just mounting, you know, the, the box to there. Um, but then I went to the Home Depot. And in their scrap pile of uh, free wood, I got this. So, the revised plan is to do maybe something like that. And then have, you know, multiples down there from the box. Um, I'm still going to have this somewhat portable. And it's not going to be affixed to anything, but... That's the future, that's what I'm thinking anyway, but for now, in this video, all we're going to be doing is uh, the box, the one outlet, and the breaker stuff, and the wiring. So, uh, enough rambling about it, I'm going to start uh, by mounting everything and getting all that hooked up. Uh, one more thing is, this is... Um, 10 gauge wiring meant for 220 for uh, air conditioning systems basically the uh, where your power comes from the box on the side of the house that actually goes to the unit so this is uh, way overkill for what we're doing but uh, why not I had it laying around all right things are coming along nicely um, so now we have uh, things kind of roughed in. I've actually, you know, had to cut this whip down, um, but we still have plenty of uh, wiring and material for the leftover for for other outlets or something I might want to add in. Again, this is overkill. I'm doing this just because it's fun for me, you know. Um, but as it is right now, everything is to get fastened together. Let's see if we can get some some light here it's got these little nuts on there that hold it in place on the inside on there and in there as well what we'll do is uh, put the box in the middle I think or maybe put the box over to the side like that to maximize room that we'll have left over for other things we might want to add in later down the road maybe uh, amp meters or you know indicator lights and stuff like that so we will screw the thing down and uh, get it in place and start connecting some of this wire all right another uh, quick update on how things are coming along we have the uh, the box part of it all wired up here you can see um, I'm sure you've noticed by now the color of the wires is, is a little different than what you would have for normal 120 volt uh, house wiring and that is again because uh, since this is made for air conditioning systems 
uh, and 220 volts, uh, these would technically both be hot when we would use it in its normal application. Um, but in this case, I'm going to be using uh, black as the hot and red as the neutral. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, it's just uh, the colors uh, of that particular setup. And uh, green for ground, which right now we have uh, just screwed with a, uh, a sheet metal screw through the case, which will ground everything out uh, once I actually run the, the power in. I'll do the same, and we'll have a good ground there. Uh, now all that's really left for this part anyway is getting the outlet in there and then the, uh, the wiring from the box to, um, to the breaker. So uh, let me finish this up and I'll be back. Okay, and now for the outlet we're going to do the same thing that we did for the ground in there is uh, rather than trying to force the thicker wire, especially since it is braided, uh, around the terminals on here, which will never happen. We're just going to crimp on some some more eyelets and take the screws out and screw it down. That way we know we got a good secure connection there. Okay, got all the terminals crimped on there. Nice and secure, not going anywhere. Get it on the outlet, get it all together. Alright, now I am going to preface the next section of this video with a warning. And that warning is to not do anything that you see me doing in your own home. Not only can you electrocute, bleh, electrocute yourself, you can burn your house down. Now, what I have set up is temporary and will be removed once this video is finished. Uh, this is just a rough setup to show that everything is working. Now, to the electrical panel. There are some blank spaces in here already, which I have taken advantage of. What I have done is connected our 30 amp breaker, and uh, the black is going to the breaker, the white is going to the neutral bar inside the box, and green is connected to the frame of the breaker panel. It is very unwise to go inside one of these unless you know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> Especially when you see what I've done here. I've taken a couple microwave cords, uh, power cords, and cut the ends off of them. Obviously one goes to the breaker. And then I have put on a universal uh, outlet here. Uh, basically just the female end of, a, uh, of an outlet that you can get at your hardware stores. And for uh, a rough setup, uh, this is not how it's going to be in the end. I don't want a BX90 on here at all. Um, I have it so this can be easily disconnected and moved. We have our breaker inside there, and then our load. And then we got our little, you remember this guy. So what we do is breaker on. Okay, now this box down here has our power. We can go ahead and see that's still off, but when we flip the breaker here, it comes to life. Very nice. So now we have um, a proper uh, circuit uh, amp regulation so I don't accidentally blow the main breaker to the uh, that powers this box because this is actually a split off of a main in the building below me so if I were to ever trip that main I would have no power until somebody could get here and reset the breaker down there and we don't want that to happen so uh, cool thanks for watching and uh, I got a couple more videos coming up here uh, probably won't get to them till next weekend though um, but uh, take care until then.